Tesla once said, the present is theirs, the future, for which I really worked, is mine. Today, we step into that future, revealing other inventions that paved the way for Tesla's legacy. He is known for his groundbreaking contributions to electricity and magnetism. Tesla's legacy extends far beyond the pages of history. But what if I told you that beyond the patents and well-documented inventions, there lies a realm of hidden discoveries? Tesla's life and work spanned a broad range of disciplines, and his ideas continue to influence various fields of science and technology. Despite facing financial challenges and some controversy during his lifetime, Tesla's contributions have earned him recognition as one of the key figures in the history of electrical engineering and having one of the most bizarre ideas of his time. Nikola Tesla, the Serbian-American scientist, is now considered way ahead of his time because of his exciting ideas and inventions. With his work on AC electrical systems, induction motor and transformer, the Tesla coil, and much more, you would probably wonder what other inventions have been kept from the public, from you or just his inventions that didn't make it. Let's unveil Nikola Tesla's hidden inventions. Nikola Tesla, born on July 10, 1856 in the Austrian Empire or present-day Croatia, studied electrical engineering in the Technical University of Prague and later attended the University of Prague. By 1884, Tesla was able to migrate to the United States, arriving in New York with little more than his education and engineering skills. It is known that Tesla has worked with another famous scientist, Thomas Edison. Yet they parted ways because of project disagreements. Tesla then moved on and continued pioneering in his field and founded his company, the Tesla Electric Light and Manufacturing by 1886. From then on, he had created various inventions that left the people of his time both in awe and confusion. But the people of present time astounded, Wardenclyffe Tower. On his return to New York from Colorado, Tesla wrote a fascinating article for Century Magazine. In it, he explained a way to capture solar energy using an antenna. He believed that this method could not only control the weather, but also revolutionize global communication through wireless means. The influential banker J.P. Morgan became intrigued by Tesla's ideas and arranged a meeting with him. During this meeting, Tesla enthusiastically shared the extraordinary possibilities of wireless communication, such as sending pictures and letters instantly across the globe. Tesla envisioned a transformed Earth, comparing it to a massive brain capable of responding to stimuli in every corner of its existence. Morgan found Tesla's idea intriguing and decided to invest $150,000 in building the Wardenclyffe Tower and Power Station. Tesla, though aware that this amount was not enough, accepted the offer to avoid losing such a big financial support starter. The banker, James Warden, set aside 81 hectares of land on the cliffs of Long Island for this project, and the tower was named Warden Cliff in his honor. The plan was to make the tower 57 meters tall, with a 55-ton steel sphere at the top. Beneath the tower, there was a 36.5-meter deep shaft, and 16 iron pipes were laid at a depth of 120 meters to let currents pass through and capture the Earth's energy. According to Tesla, this system needed to grip the earth to make it shake. However, the allocated funds proved insufficient to complete the tower's construction. Tesla informed Morgan about the shortfall, but Morgan, having doubts about the inventor's success, hesitated to provide a positive response. Back in 1901, something big happened on December 12th. Guglielmo Marconi made headlines by successfully sending a radio signal across the Atlantic Ocean. Now, this news didn't come as a surprise to Tesla at all. In fact, he even accused Marconi of using his 17 patents to pull off this signal transmission. This story took a more sudden turn as Morgan, the person funding Tesla's project, thought differently. He considered Tesla a fraud and decided to stop supporting him. Morgan believed that Marconi's system not only worked, but was also cost-effective. To make matters worse, around the same time, the stock market crashed and the cost of materials for Tesla's tower doubled. With the high expenses and lack of financial support, Tesla's project had to be shut down. Unfortunately, his supposedly revolutionary dream met its end. Fast forward to 1917, and the US authorities decided to demolish Tesla's unique tower. Surprisingly, the tower was so sturdy that it could only be brought down by an explosion. This failure hit Tesla hard, causing him to suffer a severe nervous breakdown. Recovering from this setback took him a long amount of time. 
Reflecting on the collapse of his idea, Tesla then expressed one of what would be his iconic lines. It is not a dream. It is a simple feat of scientific electrical engineering. Only expensive images of thoughts. In 1893, Tesla conducted experiments and concluded that a person's thoughts could be captured in a photograph. Years later, in an interview with a newspaper reporter, he explained that he had become convinced that when a specific image forms in the mind through reflex action, it creates a corresponding image on the retina. According to Tesla, this mental image could be detected by a special device. His vision involved reflecting this image onto an artificial retina, taking a photograph of it, and then projecting it onto a screen. If successful, Tesla believed that the objects imagined by a person could be shown on the screen, essentially making every thought visible. This invention would take visualization on a whole new different level. Tesla was like the OG, original genius, of robotics because he proved you could control stuff without physically being there. He even got a patent, or a fancy paper that says, This idea is mine. For this wireless remote-controlled invention. In the patent, he explained how you could use it for all kinds of vehicles and machines, not just boats. It was a game-changer, and people were amazed by this spectacular invention. Tesla wasn't controlling the boat with his thoughts, though. He was just sending signals to it with his fancy box of levers. Back in 1898, Tesla got a special document, kind of like a permission slip, for a cool idea he had about controlling things from far away using radio waves. Fast forward to a big event called the Electrical Exposition in Madison Square Garden, Tesla showed off his first ever working model of a remote-controlled robot. But get this, it wasn't some high-tech humanoid or futuristic gadget, it was a little boat. But that boat would kick off one of the best discoveries of all time. Tesla stood in front of a crowd, and he's got what seems to be a small box with levers in his hands. He starts pressing buttons and moving those levers. And guess what? The boat in the water starts moving too, no wires attached. Talked about how only a few people could control a hundred ships or vehicles remotely using his technology. However, journalists interpreted this differently and asked if Tesla's invention could make a boat go underwater and carry weapons on its own. This question bothered Tesla because he didn't like anything associated with war. He explained to the journalists that his technology was meant to reduce human work, and soon, robots would be able to do the most challenging tasks. Sadly, Tesla's invention was so advanced that people who saw it couldn't understand how it could be used in real life. Seismic machine back in 1898, Tesla caused quite a scare in New York City when he was working on a little contraption. The whole city got nervous because Tesla's lab started shaking so much that it seemed like the building might collapse. Yet, what Tesla was up to was tinkering with vibrations, trying to make them sync up with the very building that housed his lab. When everything in the lab started going crazy and heavy machines were flying around, Tesla didn't panic. Instead, he grabbed a hammer and smashed the generator. He figured out that the building couldn't handle all the shaking, and it was on the verge of falling apart. Even though Tesla caused quite a commotion, he didn't admit it was his experiment's fault. This incident sparked the police and emergency services to rush to the scene. At that time, Tesla remained silent about the whole incident. However, this little episode inspired Tesla to come up with his thermoelectric generator. This contraption aimed to help scientists study the Earth's geological properties and locate minerals hidden beneath the ground. In the newspaper New York World, Tesla shared his newest creation with a mission of preventing wars. His innovative idea involved using wireless telegraphy to set off powerful explosives in the sea. The resulting intense explosion would generate massive tidal waves capable of overturning entire enemy fleets. The newspaper conveyed that this man-made tidal wave had the potential to make naval forces ineffective. According to Tesla, his invention held the promise of bringing the world closer to a day of universal peace. In the late 1890s, Tesla believed that at high altitudes, where the air is thinner, electricity could be sent without wires. He was dedicated to proving this by tapping into energy from the ionosphere. However, he needed money for this project. His friend Leonard E. Curtis and Colonel John Jacob Astor were intrigued and invested $30,000 in Tesla's experiment. With the funding secured, Tesla and his team went to Colorado in May 1899 to build a new station near Pikes Peak. To draw attention to his work, Tesla told the press about his plan to send a radio signal from Pikes Peak to Paris, keeping the details secret. In Colorado, Tesla delved into his scientific pursuits. 
he discovered that the Earth was pulsating with electrical vibrations. Tesla thought that when lightning struck the Earth, it produced powerful waves that traveled across the globe. He theorized that if the Earth acted as a giant conductor, he could send unlimited energy anywhere. To test this, Tesla aimed to be the first person to create electrical waves similar to lightning. Tesla's lab in Colorado had a roof that could move, and there was a tall tower made of wood, about 27 meters high, which was like a shield to protect the lab from fire. On top of that tower is another tower of around 43 meters tall, holding up a large copper ball. Inside the wooden tower, there was this massive Tesla coil made to send strong electric pulses into the ground. When Tesla was ready to do his experiment, everything was double-checked. He told his main mechanic to flip the switch for just one second. After that, the second coil started to make sparks and noises, surrounded by a blue electric arc. Tesla was happy with what he saw, so he told the mechanic to turn the switch off. Huge blue arcs of electricity went up and down the central coil. There were even flashes of lightning, each over 30 meters long, jumping from the top of the station's mast. In one instance at the El Paso Electric Company, an experiment went badly, causing the Dinamo Machini to burn out. As a consequence, the entire town experienced a power outage. This upset the manager of the power station. The manager insisted that Tesla rectify the damage and compensate for the losses incurred. Beyond this incident, Tesla conducted various intriguing experiments in his laboratory in Colorado Springs. One of his experiments aimed to show that the ionosphere could work as a conductor for radio waves. In his lab, he managed to pick up and record cosmic radio waves using his sensitive instruments. He was convinced that his idea was right and even claimed to have identified signals from outer space. Unfortunately, the scientific community didn't believe him mainly because knowledge about cosmic radio signals didn't exist back then. Back in the day, Tesla claimed that there are radio waves in space, and guess what? He wasn't making things up. Today, modern science has proven him right. They've been picking up radio waves from outer space for quite a while. These radio waves come from hydroxyl molecules in the clouds of interstellar gas and the outer layers of big, red stars. They're super faint, yet they manage to reach us. These waves have frequencies between 1610.6 and 1613.8 megahertz, and they're produced by anything in space that's not freezing cold, colder than minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. Tesla not only had ideas about the ionosphere, but he was also right about it. The ionosphere behaves like a superhighway for radio waves, acting as a superb conductor that lets these waves travel through space easily. Tesla's understanding of this concept shows how he was ahead of his time. Since he was a kid, Tesla's dad taught him to really dislike war. So Tesla spent a bunch of time thinking about how to quickly get rid of enemy armies if there was a war. One day, he figured out a way to do just that. One of his most famous and controversial inventions was called Teleforce. Tesla decided to tell everyone about it. On July 11, 1934, there was this big article in the New York Times where Tesla talked a lot about the invention. He said this device could wipe out up to 10,000 soldiers from 400 kilometers away. The device worked by using special beams made from ionized metal. These beams would zoom super fast at about half a million kilometers per hour. Their power was supposed to be crazy high, like 100 billion watts, and that would instantly destroy the enemy. Tesla's teleforce, commonly mislabeled as the death ray, was actually quite different from that notion as clarified by Tesla himself. Contrary to popular belief, Tesla emphasized that his project didn't revolve around beams, highlighting their impracticality due to insufficient production capabilities and rapid intensity decline over distance. Instead, his focus was on particles, not beams. Recognizing the financial requirements for this endeavor, Tesla sought the support of John Pierpont Morgan, a wealthy American entrepreneur who had previously sponsored Tesla's ideas. Tesla's approach was rooted in the practical considerations of particle technology, rather than the commonly misunderstood concept of a death ray. This demonstrates the significance of distinguishing between Tesla's intended approach and the misconceptions surrounding his Teleforce project. Despite facing resistance from Morgan due to an old conflict, Tesla sought support for his peace initiative. His attempts to engage British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain were unsuccessful. Not giving up, the brilliant inventor extended his efforts globally, 
reaching out to leaders in various countries such as the United States, Canada, England, France, and the USSR. To demonstrate the gravity of his project, Tesla forwarded a scientific document titled The New Art of Projecting Concentrated Non-Dispersive Energy Through Natural Media. In this document he detailed a vacuum tube featuring an open end and gas ceiling to allow particle exit. Additionally, Tesla outlined a method for charging particles to millions of volts, creating directed, non-dispersive particle streams through electrostatic repulsion. Tesla received $25,000 from the Soviet arms front in New York in exchange for comprehensive details about his method and device. It remains uncertain whether an actual physical device was handed over to the Soviet government. Nonetheless, there exist documents and project concepts outlined by Tesla himself that provided ample material for the creation of a Teleforce prototype. This initiative was actively pursued by a team of scientists affiliated with the University of Adelaide. The outcome of their efforts could potentially lead to the unveiling of a groundbreaking weapon capable of bringing an end to global conflicts one day. Ozone Generator in 1903. Tesla felt really down when John Morgan said he wouldn't give him more money for his inventions. Tesla needed to show everyone that he was still a great inventor. So, he told Morgan that he was going to make a device that everyone in the world would use. Three years later, in 1906, Tesla started the Tesla Ozone Company and got a patent for the first portable ozone generator in the United States. This device was meant to help clean the air inside buildings. Around the early 1900s, people were worried about the harmful smoke from burning a lot of coal. They thought this smoke was causing new diseases. Tesla's invention was supposed to help with that. In the city, people couldn't really do much about the dirty air outside, but they tried different things to clean up the air inside their homes. That's where the generator came in. It was supposed to make the air all clean and germ-free. But later, they found out that Tesla's invention didn't really do that. In fact, it turned out that the ozone it produced could be bad for people when used indoors. Ozone is okay up high in the sky because it helps protect us from the sun's harmful rays. But down here on Earth, especially in small spaces, it's not so good for us. Now, in the US, you can't just buy these generators for everyday use. They're only allowed for purifying water and certain equipment. Even though the experts say it's not safe, some folks still try to sell ozone therapy as a miracle cure for serious illnesses like cancer and AIDS. Flying apparatus back in 1913, Tesla gave a heads up to people saying that at some point, they'd witness him soaring through the air all the way from New York to Colorado Springs. After the Wright brothers successfully took to the skies, lots of scientists, like Einstein and Edison, were keen on making their flying machines. During the early 1900s, many inventors, Tesla included, were putting forth patents for some pretty out-of-the-ordinary aircraft designs. In 1928, at the age of 72, Nikola Tesla came up with his last invention called aerial transportation. This flying machine was a clever mix of a helicopter and an airplane. It is a box-shaped vehicle with a propeller and a wing that could tilt. Tesla thought it would weigh about 363 kilograms. The unique thing about it was that it could take off from anywhere, be it a garage or a rooftop. He planned to sell it for one thousand dollars no matter what someone wanted to use it for even though tesla couldn't build a prototype due to financial constraints his idea laid the groundwork for modern tilt rotor aircraft and planes that can take off and land vertically sadly he never got the chance to fly from new york to colorado springs in 1919 tesla talked about a fast airship idea that would run using wireless electricity from ground towers he said the airship could go more than 10 kilometers high and travel at 1,000 miles per hour. This speed would allow a trip from New York to London in just 3.5 hours. Tesla wrote about this in a magazine called Reconstruction in July 1919. He explained his work on making a fast airship and said the power source was almost unlimited. Nowadays, this idea seems possible, but back in the early 1900s, people found it too unbelievable. Following Tesla's death in 1943, a story emerged that suggested many of his scientific works were taken. Among the most prized by the FBI and other US government groups were plans for an upgraded teleforce, or the more common misconception, the death ray. The day after Tesla passed away, 
his nephew Sava Kosanovich, a Yugoslavian official, rushed to Tesla's New Yorker hotel room. After examining the space, Kosanovich asserted that specific technical papers and a black notebook, which Tesla had carefully protected, were gone from the safe. The New York FBI's assistant director, Peter Foxworth, was called in to look into the theft. He stated that the government aimed to safeguard Tesla's documents, leading to the confiscation of all his possessions. Dr. John Trump, an electrical engineer from the National Defense Research Committee of the Office of Scientific Research and Development, was called upon to examine the recovered documents. His detailed analysis led him to determine that Tesla's ideas from the past 15 years were mostly speculative, philosophical, and somewhat promotional. They often revolved around production and wireless energy transportation. Following World War II, there was a renewed interest in the beam weapon. Copies of Tesla's documents were sent to the Patterson Air Force Base to assess the feasibility of his concept. Unfortunately, the results of the experiment were never made public. In 1952, Tesla's remaining papers went back to Belgrade, where they set up a museum in his honor. For a long time, Western scientists couldn't see most of Tesla's documents. However, Soviet scientists in the 1950s could access them when they visited. In 1960, Nikita Khrushchev, the General Secretary of the CPSU Central Committee, shared that the Soviet Union was working on a new and amazing weapon. This news scared the world, and some scientists thought Khrushchev had Tesla's Teleforce project. Meanwhile, the United States kept trying to make beam weapons. In 1958, the Advanced Research Projects Agency began a secret project to create a particle beam weapon. Because it was too expensive and took too much time, they eventually gave up on the project. American scientists also said they didn't know about Tesla's documents. In the late 1970s, Americans thought there was a big weapon-making place near the border of China and the Soviet Union. Then in 1983, President Ronald Reagan talked about something called the Strategic Defense Initiative. He asked American scientists to work on making a good missile defense system that uses space too. But even after 50 years of trying and spending a lot of money, the plan didn't work. They never made a real way to defend against missile attacks. Yet, it's essential to approach such stories with skepticism and critically evaluate the sources. Tesla was undoubtedly a brilliant inventor, but many of his later ideas were not fully developed or were considered unconventional during his time. Asadi from these hidden inventions, we also must commend his ideas and inventions that are still seen and proven revolutionary, especially at the present time. Let's have a quick rundown of his legacy AAC electrical system. Tesla's most significant contribution was his development of the AC electrical system, which is the basis for most power transmission and distribution systems used worldwide today. His work in this area often brought him into competition with Thomas Edison, who championed direct current DC systems, induction motor and transformer, Tesla. Invented the AC induction motor and the transformer, both essential components in the AC power system. These inventions laid the foundation for the efficient transmission of electricity over long distances. Tesla Coil The Tesla coil is a resonant transformer circuit that produces high voltage, low current, high frequency alternating current electricity. It has applications in radio and television technology and is known for creating visually striking electrical displays, wireless transmission of energy. Tesla explored the idea of wireless transmission of energy his experiments at Wardenclyffe Tower aimed to demonstrate the feasibility of transmitting power without the need for wires. While the project was not completed, it laid the groundwork for future developments in wireless communication. Remote Control Tesla developed early concepts and devices for remote control. One notable demonstration involved a radio-controlled boat in 1898, showcasing the potential of wireless communication. X-rays Tesla conducted pioneering work in X-ray technology, producing some of the earliest X-ray images. However, his contributions in this area were somewhat overshadowed by Wilhelm Röntgen, who is credited with the discovery of X-rays. Contributions to radio, while Guglielmo Marconi is often credited with the invention of radio, Tesla also made important contributions to radio technology. There were later legal disputes over the patent rights to radio, with Tesla being one of the claimants. Wardenclyffe Tower Project 
Tesla's ambitious project at Wardenclyffe Tower aimed to create a global communication and energy transmission system. The project was eventually abandoned due to financial difficulties. In his later years, Tesla continued to work on various inventions including turbines, wireless, transmission, and remote control despite facing financial struggles and living in criticism. Nikola Tesla passed away on January 7, 1943, in New York City at the age of 86. Tesla's ideas and inventions have had a lasting impact on electrical engineering, and his contributions to the development of AC power systems are fundamental to modern electricity distribution. In the years following his death, Tesla gained recognition as one of history's great inventors, and his legacy continues to inspire scientists and engineers. Scientists have been searching for Tesla's lost documents for a long time. It's likely that if Nikola Tesla knew how to predict dangerous energy beams accurately, that information might be in his mind. While we continuously wonder about his unfinished inventions and visions, let us also take inspiration on Tesla's perseverance for the sciences and peace. Never give up on nurturing your ideas because you never know, you might be the next Nikola Tesla of your generation.